you know, I started with my darkest color for um, the outline and like one of my midtones for just like the base, right? So actually, let me go through and, um, you know, bucket out like the general colors. Um, this is my um, original character. Do not steal. No, sorry. I, I had to. I'm sorry. That was... I didn't need to, I need I didn't need to make that joke. Um, but um right, so um these are just kind of like um I'm just gonna take the time to fill out like the colors that like I know I know like like her outfit is. So um you know, um and then I'll be kind of like um, doing shading and just building onto it. Um, the way that I navigate like detail with like line art is a, is definitely different than like building up like a silhouette. But um, I guess it's kind of weird to explain because I don't really have like a strict approach for how I would. Um, navigate it so I think the best way to just kind of get into this is just by like you know getting into this um, so I hope I I hope um, it'll make sense as I work on it I, I know I did a very bad job explaining it <laughs> my bad so, um, like I mentioned before, I'm just a sucker for eyes, so I like working on the eyes first. I'm just kind of rounding things out, kind of softening things as I go along. Okay, those are... Um, you know, I, I, I guess if I had to, like, explain, like, or not I, if I had to, I mean, that's, that's the point of the stream. If I, if, um, I guess to describe what I'm doing is I'm doing a mix of, like, um, anti-aliasing and shading at the same time as I, um, work on this, um, or as I, like, refine the line art. Oh, the character's name, uh, her name is Hiban, um, so, Hiban, it's, um, yeah, I realize I haven't really, I don't really, like, talk about her that much, um, so she was, like, a character from, like, a visual novel that I was working on that, like, didn't really work out. Um, but I liked her design, so I, like, kind of keep her around, and she's just fun for me to draw. I mean, she hits, you know, everything I like about a character. She's a girl. That's it. That's all I, that's all I need. Okay, sorry, but, um, no, I just, um, yeah, no, um, Pani, oh, oh, um, so, um, the word, um, yiban in, like, it, it means, like, in, in, like, uh, Korean, it means, like, like, strange, like, like, a strange person, um, which is, like, a play on, like, which is, um, the opposite of, like, the word like ilban, which is like a very normal person. Um, and um, the whole 
the premise of the visual <laughs> the the premise of the um visual novel is that like you know like she's an alien um from space and um um sorry i'm 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 trying to decide like how much i should get into it um like the story cuz i'm i if i get too distracted with the story i might not be able to answer questions about like pixel art which is what you guys came here for <laughs> um but if there's like time at the end of the stream i'll i'll do, i yeah i don't mind answering any questions about it I never, oh yeah, no, I'm sorry. Well, you know, yeah, yeah. Touche. Um, another thing I like about Fire Alpaca is that you can kind of, you know, flip the canvas around, which is really important because I mess up a lot. Um, um, and you can see, um, sometimes I like to break the original line art and get, just kind of add, like, newer details if I feel like it's appropriate. So I just didn't really like how parts of her face were looking, so I just covered it up with hair. Oh yeah, that's another great technique if you guys are interested. Hair solves everything if a character is looking bad. Please don't take any of this too seriously. I, you know, actually try not to make... No, I'm not going to lie. It's a good shortcut. There are some shortcuts you take as an artist, and covering stuff with hair is definitely one of them. There's a smart way to do it, and a, and a bad way to do it. Like, Just don't try to be too obvious about it. Like, cop out, but, like, make the cop out look like, good, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Please don't tattle on me. Like, don't. Tell your friends that I'm giving you really bad advice. Again, I know this is being recorded, so this is like my bad, but like just don't like let let the let other people find out for themselves. You know, like don't. Yeah, that's that's um one reason that I really like Fire Alpaca. Um This is really like a program for painting. It's it's like a free version of Paint Tool Sci. Um so there are like a lot of like little things that are really helpful um that like other programs might not offer. Um But again, if you can like use a program specifically for pixel art, I do that. I know I'm being a hypocrite, but at least I uh, at least I like I'm acknowledging my problems. Does that make it worse? It makes it a little worse. Never mind. Whatever. Just don't. Like if you if you can avoid it, just don't just don't do it. Just don't do the thing. Um, uh, but do you see what I mean by like I kind of like ex I I do like a, a a combination of both like um building up with form, going over my line art, but for the most part, I'm kind of like sticking with my um primary line art um.
what do I think of a sprite I've never I have never really used a sprite um I th I've seen other um artists make really great work with it and I know that because it is a program um you know specifically for pixel art there are so many great things that come with it that make um making um, that make pixel art like so much easier like I would recommend it um, also the interface is like really adorable like it it just like looks like a little game um, but um, if there are a couple of um, pixel artists in the com um, in the chat that like you know if, if feel free to share your experiences um, Oh no, I broke my edges. <laughs> okay. And I'm right, okay. So. Yeah, um, oh, thanks. Oh, does anybody have any questions about, um, line art or what I'm, like, doing right now, by the way? I'll be throwing in some dithering oh um another thing with um dithering um so um dithering is used um either um like i said if you don't have like the range of colors that you'd like right so um you can use it to make color fields um and what i mean by color fields is um mm, something like this ah uh, this is taking a while I'm just gonna copy and paste it sorry <laughs> something like this where this whole like area is meant to read as like a completely like different color like that's like a color field right um but um as a color field like it reads differently from like having it um y um having like using a completely different color right because it like reads a little bit noise uh, like it has a little bit of noise like you can tell it's dithered um but um, right, like in a pinch where you need that mid-tone but don't, aren't allowed to use it, like dithering is great for that. Another, um, way to use, um, dithering is, um, for blending. And I think that's where dithering works the best. When you're using, um, dithering to blend two colors together, it's, um, and this is, um, talked this is uh, covered a bit in some of the tutorial um, things that I linked. It's best that you keep um, dither uh, like the dithering to a minimum. Like if I wanted to, to blend this really dark blue and my um, darkest like 